Hello guys, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Fit Tommy. Oh guys, today I have a good news. Like, I have a good news for you guys. Who's ready? Okay, please. I wanted not to share now, but what is the need of hiding it? Like, what is the need of hiding like my husband? Everybody's gonna see it anyway. So no need of hiding it. Pretending hiding God's glory over my life. Hiding God's goodness over my life. I used to complain, oh, I used to complain that God, why now? All my friends, my friends, my sisters, everybody that I know, even my neighbors, hmm, they have children, but I don't have anyone. Why? Hey, I God that never fail. God that never lie. Hey, Baba that never change. Baba that never lie. He gave me a miracle, a miracle, a bigger miracle that I could have done with millions, that I could have done with some people go and do IVF for five million, do not work out. Money I've wasted. They will do it again. They will do it again. But me, me that do not pay one dime, although I spend money that first time, but this one that do not pay one dime. Oh, God give me a miracle that silenced my insults. Let me show you guys. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh, mo. See your girl. Oh, mo. Oh, mo. Hey, come on. Come on. Hey. <laughs> so, guys. So, guys, congratulations to me. Yes. Thank you. 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 Yes. For those of you who really happy for me thank you for those of you who say, mm -hmm, how did it happen thank you i will still tell you how it happened so like i said when i took a break from job from my own store i let her find out that was pregnant ah, ah. how did i become pregnant with this stress my pcb was low i will die oh, with this pregnancy but god that never changed god that will never give you a blessing that will kill you god should put itself in my life my PCV started coming up. Everything started clicking. Everything started clicking. Started getting strong. I was really sick, but my sister, lovely Ivy, I shout out to you. She's so caring. She supported me. Was always there for me. She's always there for me. So oh, sister, fit. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. My family, they were always supporting me. I was treated like a queen. If my mother-in-law, my dad, my sister, my cousins everybody was so supportive they supported me they helped me they said that hey, don't stress yourself oh. don't think oh. don't do this so oh. i say okay this is my first time anyway i will not think i will not stress myself i will not do anything i will resign from the job <laughs> that god gives to me because god have already given me another job to focus on now and this is this pregnancy is another good job that God has given to me to focus on. So I don't want any job that God gives to me. I will be failing. No, I don't want to fail because I want you to give me more greater job. I want my point to be high, 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 high. So that we know that, yes, this is my daughter. You are trying. So before we started having issues in this store, what I noticed that I did that really helped me. When they were saying, okay, fit, you are too fat. You have to burn some weight. You have to lose some fat. I would say, oh. I started keto diet. Keto diet that I do not even do for long. Eating vegetables, not eating for some hours, eating for some hours, so just wash my waist. But still, I was not able to lean. All I know that I was looking fresh, looking glam, looking fine. That is all, but I was not, my weight was still there. So, but never this, it's not about washing my waist. I was trying to eat healthy so I can have, I started seeing gynecology. They sent me for some tests. I have done tests. Hmm. Only test 50,000, test 100,000, test this, test that. I have test, 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 test. Sometimes I will not even see my period. I will think that, okay, it's pregnancy. Last, last, it will come. I say, uh uh, what is this one? I say, okay, let me stop seeing a gynecology. Let me be going to those native people that they used to rob. So they advise that you should start going to those native people that rob. I was going for robbing, you know. Hmm. They almost robbed me, die. Well, but what will I do now? My mother will tell me, you will go, you are not ready, you will go. Because we need a shed in this house. I say, hey, it's really true too. I will still be going. 
I will still be going. From rubbing it, I tell you, but very sickness. I don't even understand it. Till tomorrow, I don't, I don't even have a name for that sickness. Set. That sickness, I will be catching cold. I'll be, I'll be catching cold. I'll be having stomach pains. My stomach will pee me, will pee me dry. At the end of the time, maybe I will see some little fallout like blood. I don't even know what that is like. A, I don't know. I, when I also urinate, I'll be seeing little things like blood. I said I was having miscarriage. I said, uh-uh. What is this one now? Am I pregnant that I'm having miscarriage? I'll go to meet to the woman. The woman will say, ah, you are pregnant too. So maybe it's miscarriage or this, this, that, that. Hmm. So the woman will say, ah, you are having miscarriage or this, this, so that, that, so you should stop doing this. You should stop doing that. I say, oh, miscarriage, okay. This thing I'm telling you, that's why I was still going to my shop, oh, to my chemist store. I say, ah, ah, I've not been taking medicine. If I ever have malaria, I say, my husband will not allow me to treat the malaria. Because you say, okay, that maybe it's pregnancy symptom. You treat the malaria, nah, nah, nah. you will have miscarriage. Hmm. I will be scared. Say, so, okay, oh, I will not treat malaria. I will not treat anything. But see, I will still be having that pain. That pain will still be coming worse once. Every time. And I now, I, that time, I know he says, eh? When I mean he says, hmm. I also want to touch me, I will just be running. Like, I will not be giving the excuse. I will, I will go get a lot of for outside. Though. I will not say, ah, please, oh, please. <laughs> I will sometimes I will be it, but never like I was not enjoying sex at all. Like, I so much hate it. Like, God, I don't want to even marry again. That kind of a thing. But what can I do now? I was still going there. Eventually, I stopped going. I said, no. If I go to this mall, this mall will kill me. I stopped going to, to that place. So when I stopped going to that place, I was still having that pains down, monthly pains, and I don't know. And my see another thing that I noticed that my period was not consistent. Like I said, sometimes it will come in months, sometimes it will not just it will later come, but it it's not like it will not come every twenty eight days like it will used to come. Like when you calculate your ovulation, I don't even used to ovulate again. So they, I was just okay. Let me just leave it like that. Everybody just say, hey, don't forget, forget about your periods. If it come, let it come. If it's not common, it's on its own. Please, oh, don't allow anybody to advise you that one. The person advising you that one is not good. Oh. I can't lie to you. If you really need a child, and you have been praying, and you know that yes, you have been praying, you ask God that God, I need the fruit of the womb, and you have been praying, and someone tell you to forget about the days of your period, forget about your ovulation, forget about. Please, eh, that is not a good advice. That was the advice they were giving to me. I noticed that I was not taking anything safe. I was forgetting, okay, my period will come, I'm fine. It will not come, I'm fine. So I was not really focused. I, would, I don't even know the day my period will come. I don't even know the day I will oblige. So I was having sex at the wrong time. Of the truth, I was having sex at the wrong time. I don't even know the right time to have a sex. And I will still be feeling pains when I'm having sex. You know that kind of a thing. I will still be having that pain. It will not look like, am I a virgin again? Okay, now I hate, I hate, instead of hating my husband, of the truth. But I will not say maybe my husband is using wickedness to do this thing. You are wicked. You are not doing it to love. That is why this thing is always paining me. Why are you do how are you doing it? <laughs> God. Please eh. I pray that no man should watch this video. She will be a lady for me. Just do it. So I'm not saying ah, maybe you are doing wickedness. So. It's not you that is doing this thing. I will not say, ah, you will not say, why am I complaining like this now? You know you are my only one. So I will say be bearing. I will say be bearing. So thank God for God's sent. I was still praying about it, so I can't lie to you. I was still praying about it, so because there's nothing God cannot do. I was praying that God said so I praying like every day, praying like every day about it, praying every time about it. Whenever we're even having sex, I will still be praying, like I'll be speaking in tongues. Then okay, there's the way that you pray when you're having sex. Yes, God answers this. Now pray that the, the, my body, I will speak to my body that my body will accept the sperm. Because when your body does not accept the sperm, and that is why you will not be able to get pregnant. So when you are able to speak to your body to accept the sperm, spiritually, physically to accept it. So by God's grace, a friend of, a friend of mine introduced me to this vagina, this vagin, this vagin, and vagina tube, this stick. So I use this stick. See, this video is not sponsored. I swear to God, it's not sponsored. This company is safe. They don't even do adverts for anybody. I've heard one celebrity talk about it and 
women lovers, for women that finish giving bears. So it asked me why it introduced me to is to start selling for my clients, for my patients, as in my customers in the shop, in the chemist store. Those people that are having hormonal imbalance, that I should sell it for them. That I should be making maybe one thousand profits or five hundred profit from it. So she introduced me to it and and I said, okay, since people that are having hormonal imbalance, there is a lady that was treating for how many months did this year period, like for years did this year period. So I, I was treating her, I was using this stick. I still give her this stick. She used two, 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 two sticks. The first one, she used it and it was saying, ah, maybe the period wants to come. I give her again. She uses the second time. Period now, boss starts. This woman did times given you know, the way she greets me. Eh? <laughs> I was really so satisfied, I was really so happy. I said, uh uh. This kind of medicine is this still uh, as in, in Nigeria here? Yeah? Apart from the injection and the tablet that we do give, like something like this simple without even injection, without even tablet it to work like this, and in supplements, it will not pay you. You will enjoy sex, you will love sex, you will love yourself, you will be fresh, my dear. So I said, okay, let me practice one. Because when I read one of these functions that, okay, it will make you to enjoy sex. I said, okay, it's fine. Since I'm not if enjoying sex for long now, let me try one. Oh boy, did I try one, eh? Hmm. My husband confirmed, man. <laughs> oh my God, like, off the truth. Uh-uh. This thing, eh? It was scenting. When it, like, perfume, it was sweet. Both of us will enjoy it. We enjoyed ourselves. It was good. So I was not actually taking it out. It helped me to get pregnant. It's God that gives children anyway. It's not tablets. It's not anything. So I noticed that I always give it to my patients that are having hormonal imbalance. Whenever I want to treat them, I will just tell them about to say, okay, if you don't want to take medicine, so because uh, there are some people that hate drugs. There are some people that hate the smell of drugs, hate ingestion. So I will just be advising it, advertising it online, like okay, if you are having hormonal imbalance, you have not been seeing your period, you have not been enjoying sex, you should buy this thing, and it's not good for pregnant woman. If you are pregnant, but when I started using this thing, I bought one pack, one pack for myself. It's only six that was inside the pack like this. I have like four, or five in this house plus the one that I've sold in my store. So I bought one pack for myself. So when I use it. I noticed that my period always come exactly 28 days. I now I now say, uh uh, this thing is working. And now I download this uh, ovulation tracker. Exactly the day my period will come in that tracker, my period will come exactly that will ovulate. I will ovulate that day. Uh uh, I say, okay. So there are some days that will really ovulate like this, and if you have sex a day before you ovulate. Oh, that ovulation day is really good. So they calculate it. Hmm. You know, temptation. Did I ovulate? My husband will not be around. Or my husband will say, I'm tired. I don't want sex. I'll say, My husband, please, now. Nah. I'm not in the mood. Hey. I was just be bearing. That maybe that week said, will not be having sex. But I know, okay, that means I know the day I will not ovulate. Understand? So I was no longer scared. I was no longer scared like before. And that problem that I used to have, that pain in my low abdomen that I used to have and I'd be catching cold and having fever, whenever that pain is coming, this thing cure is. I pray about it, shower. I don't lie to you. I pray about it. But when I pray about it, then they introduce me to this fight. And then it's out there. This thing cure it. Ha. They cure I swear to my God. God is my witness. It's only this thing that I use. I did not take any injection. I when I did the test that time they asked me to do stuff. I did not even go for the treatment because I spent a lot of money to do the test. I was thinking ah, after doing all these tests, I will still spend a lot of money. I don't have this thousand to waste in the hospital. So the result is still yes. If I didn't even go and meet the doctor because when I get there that day, they say that they were on strike. So I just lock up. That is when I started using this thing. The pain disappears just like that. I said that ovulating. When I said that ovulating. So when that problem was even coming up, say, I stopped using it when I was having issues in the shop and when I was even working with my husband, I, I stopped using it. I'm talking about, I used only one pack, I could not even finish the last one, I gave the last one out. That means I used only five stick, five stick, and for months, I used five stick for months. I always use twice, use it twice a month, use it twice a month. So, understand, so that time, we're having issues, I never even know. When the pregnancy came, said 
Like when my body was ready, like my body was ready. When I mean ready, I was ready physically. So when God said, okay, yes, it's my time now, I was not having any complication. He just sent down once, pia. Hmm. So that is why, that is how I became, I became baby mama. Hey, <laughs> that is how I became baby mama. Seriously speaking. So what am I trying to say now? I don't know the supplement you are into. I don't know the drugs you are into. I don't know the treatment you are into. But if you are into treatment without praying, eh, it will not work. Oh, you have to be praying. Your prayer point. You must pray. You must talk to God about it. That God, this thing I'm doing, I'm getting my body ready. Come into my life. Come and do it for me. So believe me, when you pray like that, eh, I be believe me, God will answer your prayer. And when the time has come, the time that God, so when the time has come, the time that God has prepared for you, believe me, it will enter. No witches and wizards can stop it. Because that time, some prophets always say, ah, they don't carry a womb, God cover no. One woman use uh, 20 naira, 50 naira, they do, uh, buy your womb, whether they do your introduction. <laughs> but see, nobody created you. No matter what they have done in their coven, no matter what they have done in their married world, it cannot affect you because they are not the one that is owner of your life. Unless you are one of them. If you are not one of them, hmm, what they have done, it can never affect you because him that is in you is greater, is higher, is mighty than him that is in the world. So what you carry is greater. So nobody can exchange your glory. Nobody can exchange your womb. Nobody can exchange your, your 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 position to someone else. So there are some women that look at what they will happen. To. Their husband will go outside and pregnant some other lady. Then when their husband come back, they now settle. They will not get pregnant. What am I trying to say now? Is it work, hand work of the enemy? Is hand work of the Satan? So you not give Satan that opportunity. If they give you any prophecy, don't reject it and don't even go there and embarrass the pastor. Reject it and pray about it that God it will not happen. If it's really true that somebody even buy my womb with 20 naira, 15 naira on my on my introduction day, on my marriage day, oh God my father, you are the owner of my life. You are the owner of everything. I take my womb back by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, go to the church, sow a seed that is higher than that. Sow a seed of 200 naira. If the person use 15 naira to buy your womb, baby, sow seed of 200 naira. The person use 1000 to buy your womb, baby. So seed of 2,000 naira in the church. Tell God that I bought it back. Anybody that buy it, they cannot come and buy it. I bought it back and I give it to you, God, to hold it. They can't go and buy it from God. So no matter what you did, don't even think that you have done abortion in the past. You have been a bad girl. You have been this. You have been that. So that means you are not able to have your own children. See, it's a lie. If God can do it for people in the Bible, that same of God of yesterday, that same God of yesterday is still the same God of today. And you will be still be the same God forever. If you can do it for other people, you can also do it for you. If you can do it for them, you can also do it for you. So don't give up. No matter the years. My cousin, my auntie that I know very well, he has been married for many years. It's not up to 20 years or 15 years. No shade. But which day she gave birth to triplets? Three children at the same time. It's not a miracle. Who did that thing? It's not God. What are you not saying? Why, you, why do you think that God will not do it for you? He will do it for you. Believe on yourself. Take the right medication. Take the right treatment. Don't just reject anything they just show to you. That okay, let me just relax. Anytime my marriage will come, let it come. If it not come on, then it's zone. If you relax like that, you will not get your body ready. So that it's some there are some things that will be stuck in. There are some things that will be stuck in the child, stuck in the sperm from moving in. So when you get your body ready, when you pray about it, everything will just be working sharply, sharply. Everything will just work out very well. So don't just if you are in someone you have been using it for long and it's not be working, change it. There's no army trying another one, trying another product. Try it. Understand? So, and if you need this very one, just send me a message on my WhatsApp. I'll put my WhatsApp number on the screen. You guys can patronize me. I will still be having 500 naira from one. One is sold for 5,000 naira. So, if you patronize me, I will sell it. They will give me my 500 naira percentage. So, 
if you want to buy from me, if you want to buy from the people directly, just let me know too. So I can just give it. But they are really far. If you are in Lagos, your hand is easy for you over there. Instead of waving from Delta to Lagos, it's easy for you. But if you are in Delta State, just for you to buy from me. Understand? So that is just this is different the 500 naira. So that is just the truth. And thank you so much. Thank you so much. And congratulations to me again. So you know the reason why I've stopped going to the shop. So if you have not been seeing me in the shop, let's say that you stop patronizing us. You must patronize us. Okay, because I'll be going there once once. I'll be going there every time. But I've not been doing furniture like I used to do. Okay guys, so thank you my love. Thank you so much for watching this video. And God bless you. Subscribe to my channel. And see you next time in my video. Bye.